In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. I would like to begin by wishing everyone a happy and wonderful Ethiopian Holy Cross Day. For those of us who live here in Ethiopia, as well as all Ethiopians living all over the world, a happy and blessed Holy Cross Day to all. Holy Cross before Christ. Before Christ, a cross, ancient Roman era was used to crucify people who were against the government. During that time, the Roman government was very powerful and colonized many countries, including Israel. During the Roman region over Israel, Jesus was born in Jerusalem. Soon enough, Jesus started to teach people who were against the religion leaders, the King Herod, the Pontius Pilate, political and the rules. Not surprisingly, the teaching of Jesus Christ was disliked and unaccepted by these religion leaders, King Herod and Pontius Pilate governments. Thus, they accused Jesus Christ for all of your crime for simply teaching. What did Jesus Christ do wrong? Nothing at all. His goal was to save and to give eternal life for the whole nation. Unlike Jesus Christ, the religion leaders at the time, King Herod and Pontius Pilate government were not working to change the life of their people or the world. Their education was based on this world, which made them greedy, selfish, evil, and careless about others. But following the world of God by the people of Israel changed their lives made miracles, healed the sick, and gave food for starvation. As a result, many became Jesus Christ's followers. They traveled from many places to see the miracles, and some abandoned left the religious leaders, King Herod and Pentius Pilate government, to become Jesus Christ's followers. Jesus Christ gave their life a meaning while the religious leaders and the government were destroying people's life morally, physically, and spiritually by continuing to be against Jesus Christ's teaching. Wanting him to be killed and crucified to make their government and religion organization stronger. In order to achieve his crucifixion, they gathered false information about Jesus Christ. They found dishonest witness to give a false testimony about Jesus Christ in front of Pontius Pilate, who was representative of the Roman government. People got brainwashed by these lies and many were screaming to Pontius Pilate asking Jesus Christ to be crucified on the cross. Based on this false testimony that Jesus committed crime against the Roman government, Jesus Christ got killed and crucified. When the true and righteous man Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross, he earned the nation forgiveness, peace, unity, and love. Slaves were freed. 
and bondage were broken. At the same time, Jesus Christ destroyed the devil wall that separated his people from God. The cross became our healer, protector, and the symbol of peace, unity, and love. Holy Cross after Jesus. When Jesus Christ got crucified on the cross as a criminal, everything changed. For his death was sacrificed to his people. Thus the nation received mercy and freedom. The first human beings, Adam and Eve, once again received dignity, peace, love, honor, and respect, as well as a way to enter the kingdom of heaven. Jesus Christ paid the price to restore the stolen dignity, the life taken by our enemy. At the same time, many people were healed from their disease and the fallen rose from the dead. In addition, the power of the cross is used by the clergymen, the Christian people, and the church. The church. For example, the priests hold the Holy Cross in their hands. The church put Holy Cross on the top of their church of worship. Believers use the cross sign on their hands, clothes, and others. We all know the Holy Cross makes miracles. Even after all this, the Jewish, the government of Herod, and Pontius Pilate in Israel did not change their religion or governmental perspective. They were against the Holy Cross making miracles, healing people from their disease and raising the fallen from the dead. They wanted to remove and destroy the Holy Cross once and for all. So the question is, who buried and girded out the Holy Cross? The Jewish religious leaders created an, an evil idea to hide and bury the Holy Cross deeply. Thus, for a long time, the Holy Cross remained buried and no one found it. But as a time went by, Queen Eleni was ready and prepared to find the Holy Cross from the deepest burial underground by the will of Jesus Christ. Queen Eleni started her work slowly. First, she gathered people together. Second, she collected information from various people. Third, she used indicators or signals to find out where the cross was buried. Following a big effort and a struggle, Queen Eleni successfully located the Holy Cross. She began to dig the ground and covered the hidden Holy Cross with much dignity. This resulted in great happiness for all Christians around the globe. The cross became an indication of peace, love, unity, and togetherness. Many Christian people use the cross as a symbol in a various way. For example, according to Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahado Church, the clergymen use the Holy Cross in their hands to bless the congregation or church members. At the same time, believers use the cross for the church building to put it on on the top to church of worship. Some people display the cross 
on their clothes and body. Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahid of Fez followers strongly believe that Holy Cross remove Satan from near and around them. Now, our next question is, where is the Holy Cross today? Today, part of the Holy Cross are found in Ethiopia. These parts came to Ethiopia during as a Dawit, the king of Ethiopia time. As a Dawit was a generous and clever king of Ethiopia. The Holy Cross has been stored in Deborah Karbe Gishen Mariam Church in Debub Wollo since it was brought. Millions of people have been going to visit the area and have been receiving blessing. Lately, member of selected political party, activists, bloggers, YouTubers, Facebook users, and some government politicians have been created many problems in Ethiopia. The value of unity, love, and peace helping each other and togetherness is being damaged. As a result, Ethiopia has been led to war, conflict, starvation, and economic tragedy. Also, they have made the young generation confused and hopeless about Ethiopia. Today, we need people like Queen Eleni, our value buried by evil, greedy, and materialistic people. So we have to have a plan, goal, visions, and hard work to restore back our peace, love, unity, to go forward and to make Ethiopian attractive and beautiful again. In addition, today we have to stand together more than ever to forgive and be kind by holding the chip of love, peace, unity, and hope in our hands. That's what Queen Eleni did because she uncovered the cross and restored back the people with happiness and freedom. We must also follow her example and uncover love, peace, unity, and hope for our country. Finally, we must come together to deny those that want to divide us what they want to achieve. We must value our country and honor Ethiopia. In conclusion, the Holy Cross is important for all Christian faiths, but especially for Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahedo Church, who believe the Holy Cross strongly. We believe our sins are washed away by the crucifixion of Jesus Christ on the cross. Then the nation has gotten peace around the world and have been set free from the bondage of sin. Amazingly, Queen Elizabeth found the cross and she gave back so much to Christian nation to help heal the sick and to protect us all from evil. Finally, I want to remind each of you to always do something with a positive attitude to help the poor. Respect your elders. Live in peace with your family, friends, neighbors. Stand together. Work hard. Study hard than ever before. Have a good attitude and always plan to change the world. Love your religion, organization of Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahedo Church, and your great and historic country, Ethiopia. Thank you very much. May God bless you. May God bless Ethiopia. Yes,